What's up guys? Now, it's no secret that I've built a lot of model kits. And some of the kits I'm gonna show you today I've had built for months, but not every kit I build has a lot going on. That doesn't mean they're not awesome kits, it's just not everything's like a master grade Gundam, you know? So I thought that we could just do a little compilation video where I take you through, show you some of the stuff that I've had built just sitting for a while that I couldn't commit like a full video to. We'll touch on them. That'll be it. So without further ado, let's jump in. Starting off our list, we have the Hoodie Ryan from Bandai. This entry grade kit is a Korean emoji, part of a series from those emojis that, I mean, it's just really cute. There's not much to say. Look at that doll expression and it's getting cooler outside now where I live. Like this guy is like really just such a full mood for me. Plus it comes with that cute little puzzle piece that could connect to the petite guys from the Gunpla Build Divers line. Next up we have the Pokepaw Quick Piplup. One of my good friends actually brought this back for me from the Japan section of Disney World when he went. Which is a really nice fun little gift that I wasn't expecting. This little lady was snapped together all too quickly. Didn't even need the instructions. It is a quick one does not require any tools just pop it off build it i do wish that it had more defined arm pieces because it kind of looks like it's just staring at you with the little tufts around its neck do make it kind of look like it's crossing its arms which makes me chuckle a little bit number three on our list is the wing gundam zero sdex standard like other sdx standard kits this guy is very heavy on the stickers which is a bit of a bummer but it's kind of just the reality at this point they are beautiful and so much fun to panel line, however, which I really enjoyed doing, so you can really make this guy pop. I really think that I would like to go back and kind of paint him up like the Wing Gundam Zero Sky from Gundam Breaker Battlelog, but, you know, we'll see. I got a lot of other unfinished projects piling up. If that's something you guys would like to see, though, feel free to let me know down below in the comments. Here we have with the Buster Rifle as well. Very stunning. I don't know about y'all, but I love Yokai Watch. This little guy, Komajiro, is part of the Yokai Watch model kit line from Bandai. Really quick, snap build. It's got some really nice molding with all of those little swirls, though, which is pretty nice. And that bag opens up, as we see, and it has little catchphrases and his cell phone that pop out. And you can connect it to have him doing his little expressions. He has a twin brother that runs off in the show. It's pretty funny. They're a funny little duo in the show and in the english dub he gets like really into like hip-hop and tries to use like slang and it's super cringe in like the best possible way so i definitely track that out the stickers aren't super great on that kid so i'll just watch out for that next up we've got some sahagans from the whiz kids dungeons and dragons line these little model kits come pre-primed so you can paint them right out of the box which is really nice they're really harping on that accessibility factor with the resurgence in pop culture that things like critical role and Stranger Things have brought about for the franchise. I went ahead and painted these up mostly with some Army Painter Speed Paints since they also have a tie-in with these models. And then I did some Citadel little bits here and there. I tried my hand at dry brushing not so well my first attempt. I really love dry brushing now though. These Sahagans are great. They're beautiful molds. The faces have a little bit to be desired, but I think like the molds and all the little spines and everything are really beautiful. Alrighty, my friends, and that's going to bring us to the end of today's video. We've certainly covered a lot of eclectic IPs today. And while I can't recommend all of these kits to my usual, like, patrons, which are avid Gundam fans and some more Hammer fans, they're still really cool. If there are any different series that you guys have seen here today that you would be interested in me covering in more depth, I'd love if you'd let me know down below. I always enjoy getting to talk to you guys, and I really enjoy the community that we're building here. If you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and like and subscribe. We got Pokemon, Yokai Watch, D&D, Gundam, Korean emojis that somehow got cool model kits. Honestly, a little something for everybody. And at a couple times a week, I'm always going to have your fix for the next Playmo build. For those of you that I haven't watched on for a while, what are you guys working on right now? I'd love to know down below. I'm about to try to do some surgery on a Susanoo and turn it into a Wraith Knight for my Eldar army. So that'll be a fun little 
custom build video and my poor goof custom is getting dust on him because I haven't finished his water slides in so long. And if any of these kits interest you, don't forget you can head over to leapingpandahobbies.com. Leapingpandahobbies.com where you can use my promo code EGGHEAD and get 10% off your entire order. You can even get Gundams, SD kits, Warhammer, Zoids, Army tanks, whatever you want. You can have a smattering of everything, just like we saw in today's video. 10% off everything with my promo code EGGHEAD, only at LeapingPandaHobbies.com. They've got the best shipping, best customer service, best selection, and best prices that I've ever seen. I don't get any kickbacks from doing this. I just partnered with them because I think they're the best. I've never had an issue ordering from them. So I thought this was the perfect team up for you guys. I really just want to make sure you guys never have to pay full price for your hobby stuff again. And on that note, make sure you like, subscribe, share if you've got some friends that are into this sort of thing too. And I'll catch you in the next one.